science. My name is Zari and in today's video, we're counting the 10 myths about animals. The first myth we have is zombie ants. That one is quite true. Zombie ants are actually ants infected with particular kind of fungus. That fungus takes over the ants nervous system and in a way the ant becomes zombified. That fungus forces the ants body to go and find somewhere moist and cool so that the fungus of course can grow. So in other words it completely takes over the body of the ant. Crocodile tears. <laughs> That one is absolutely true. If you know something about crocodiles, you know that these animals cannot chew food. When they catch their prey, they start tearing it apart and pulling large chunks which they cannot chew and they swallow whole. While passing through the throat, these chunks press glands that are near the throat. Those glands are actually the same glands that keep their eyes moist. So when the glands are pushed, tears are pushed into their their eyes and it seems like they're so sad that they ate that zebra. Here's another interesting myth that bats are actually blind. That one is absolutely false. We all know bats have these special superhero powers. Bats use a form of sonar to navigate where their food might be in the dark. But that doesn't mean that they do not use their eyes at all. Yes, their eyes may not be that developed like ours for example, but that doesn't mean they're blind. Why so rude? Yeah, their eyes are small. And and not so developed but they are completely functional and also to add to that that they see they also have other superpowers like incredible hearing and sense of smell myth number four that camels store water in their humps unless they have a backpack full of water they ain't storing water in those humps the only thing stored in there is fat so that fat in the humps is actually used for energy they transform the fat into energy when they cannot find food. Something else that helps the camel retain water are actually the kidneys. The organs are so efficient that the camel's urine that the camel's urine comes out so thick like a syrup and their feces are so dry that you can lit fire from them. So we should give a round of applause to the kidneys and all the organs in the camel not those humps. Earwig. Another false myth. Even if let's say an earwig gets gets in your ear, there's a thick bone that will prevent the earwig from actually laying eggs in your ear canal. Probably this myth started from the fact that they do love warm places, warm and dark places, and your ear seems to be also a sticky one, but a place like that. We have another myth that elephants never forget. That one is true. Maybe everything started from the fact that they are really large animals and they actually have the largest brain of all land animals. Elephants are able to retain a mental map of their entire home range, which is a lot of space. A lot of space. Elephants travel in packs, so when the pack gets way too big, the eldest daughter separates from the pack and actually creates another one. After 23 years of separation, a mother and daughter actually recognize each other, so elephants can remain remember a lot. Another myth which is completely false is that when dogs have a wet nose, they are healthy. Actually, nah. -uh. Okay, here's the truth. So, the coldness of the nose is actually an indication of the activity of the dog. I can give an example with my cat. If they just start running in the house, their noses are wet, warm, and so are their paws. Just like us humans, animals sweat, but they do not have sweat glasses all over over their body under their armpits so they sweat through their nose mostly through their mouth and for these adorable pink paws they have and dogs also have a layer of mucus in order to help them 
smell better. Another myth absolutely false is that goldfish remember only 3 seconds. No my friends, they do not remember only 3 seconds. Scientists determined that goldfish actually can remember up to 5 months and they tested that theory by creating a feeding schedule. In a certain time they were fed and over time they actually discovered that even though they were not feeding at that time, they remember that at that time, let's say 5 o'clock, they were going to be fed. Another incredible myth that is actually false is that bulls react very aggressively to the color red, which is actually absolutely false because they do not react to the particular color because that theory was tested with different colors, with red, with blue, with green and white. They actually reacted to the movement of the cape, the movement of the fabric and the size of the fabric. And we're moving to my favorite one that I hate so much because people keep arguing with me. I will say this one last time. Pit bulls are not vicious killer dogs. Just because stupid, incredibly stupid people use them for fights, train them so that they can fight and kill, that does not mean that that's in their DNA, okay? Did you hear me? If you want me to repeat it, I will not. You can rewind and hear me again. In all of my years of experience, not even one pit bull, and I have met a lot, have ever tried to bite me or tried to harm me in any way, was never aggressive at me or any of my colleagues or at other dogs. While dogs such as Rottweilers or German Shepherds, for example, were a lot more aggressive. I was this close of getting bitten by a rottweiler stop believing that they are evil dogs they're the most loving breed i have ever worked with they are so gentle if you see an aggressive pit bull it's only his owner's fault that he teach him to be aggressive it's not because that was in his dna well guys i hope you like this video subscribe to my channel follow me on social media i will see you next time and and until then, I wish you all the best. Bye!